Welcome back. I am inside the Samsara tunnels again, and I was told that inside the tunnels, now that I have beaten the boss, um, the red key is somewhere in here. So I am going to do my best to try to find it. There is a little pathway there. There's a door there. Okay, okay. Oh wait, no. Over, no, that's a dead end. Okay, never mind. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to look at, take a look at the map, see if there's anywhere I can go that I've missed so far. Um, I could check out this place, the life terminal. It looks like there might be a path up there. Um, I know that's a dead end. I think... Because I did my best to check out all the places. I'm thinking that's the only place I'm not really quite sure about. Because I did backtrack before to make sure I got everything. Um... All right, let's let's head back. I believe I can head back just through here, and I'm probably just gonna make a cut. If it's not there, I'll make a cut to when I actually find it. Okay, so I found the path. Um, it was at the life terminal, and actually, it was there was a pretty obvious path here that I completely missed the first time. You can even see it on the map, but yeah, there's a secret w hallway in here, and then there's a yellow wall that I break through, and it takes me to another water pump. So it looks like I'm going to have to do another maze here. All right, so we have until the max solar noise. Let's just explore a bit and eventually we'll find the right way. I do have an Estoma going at the moment. So, okay. I can go east or south, but it looks like north is blocked off. Okay, so that's good to remember. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll do what I always do when exploring new dungeons in Dungeons & Dragons. We go left and only left whenever we can. And that'll help me map out the dungeon as best as I can and that is a path that we cannot take. Okay, so that's good to remember. Okay, we can't go there, so we go this way. Okay, can't go there, so we're gonna go south. No, we can't go south. Okay. So let me try to remember this. I can't go north there, can't go left there, can't go south there. I could totally probably go there. Okay, let's go left here. I believe we're at max noise now though. Yeah. Oh, it's not sending me back yet. Interesting. So I have two cycles for this, probably because it's a much bigger maze. We're gonna keep going left.
Okay, can't go that way. Okay, looks like it's gonna send me back once I get to... Oh. What's this? Uh, sure. The current reversed. Oh, God. That changes everything, okay. I don't know if I wanted to do that. But I can't go that way now. And it's only gonna send me back. Okay, I'm gonna actually turn it back for now. Because what I wanna do is first I wanna map out the dungeon. Or map out the maze. And then I'll turn this around. But I know where to find this now. Oh, I can't turn it off. Okay. That kind of sucks. But I, I can go this way now. Like we're almost done. It's gonna send me out next. Next one. I can't go that way. At least they thought of what sort of enemies I would find in here, and they only give me Asoras and Decarabias. So it's not that annoying. Uh-oh. Okay. Again. So I have a feeling this is going to take the entire episode. So if you're not that big onto puzzle solving and mazes, uh... This probably isn't going to be the episode for you. Alright. I know that's where to reverse the current. I probably want to check out some of these other places first. And I know I can't go anywhere on those two, and that's just going to take me back. That would take me back. try this this route here on the right uh no but it is a faster way to get down there So this is a way to use a lot less moves to get to the current switcher, it looks like. So I could probably go down here and maybe even go left and down just to get to the current switcher and try to continue on my way in the original path. Interesting. So I still have to go around this way.
Okay, so before I actually turn that, I actually want to see where this goes. So I can try to map that out a bit. So this goes there. And this is going to send me back there. I know both of these are going right at the moment. Let's head up. No, I can't. Well, this one is, we're going to get blown out without exploring much more. But I think the next time I come in, I'm going to want to try heading down on the first path, if possible. I'm trying to get to this current switcher as fast as possible. So we're gonna head south now. And if I keep heading south, I might be able to get to the current switcher. Oh, this is wonderful. This is actually really good. If I head down this way... No. Okay, I could go forward this to go down there and up. So that would take one, two, three, four moves. Or I could go down, but then I would be forced to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I want to go this way to get to the current switcher. Unless, what is up? I don't believe I can go up. Yeah, I can't. So I want to go this way and not down. Because down looks like it's a trap. Okay, now that the current's reversed, I should be able to go up there and even go up north from that side. So, I only have six moves. Oh no, we actually have eight moves, so this is really good. This is really good for us. Okay, perfect. I can't go north, so I have to go this way, and then I should be able to go north, because this 
did not let me go before. There we go. Okay, so this is new territory. I can go that way, but it seems like if I go that way, I might have to turn left and that'll send me back. Oh, except for the fact I can't go north, so I only have one path to take. And then I go north. Okay, I only have one path to take, so... I mean... Is this the end yet? No, this was a trap. This was not the way to go. I think what I needed to do was, instead of going up here, I probably had to go all the way back and then go up there. That might have been... the thing. Okay. Yeah, this is a well-designed trap. You got me there, game. You definitely got me. I think we have the right idea, though. We just have to get to the current in... I'm pretty sure the same manner, because I don't think you can do it in a shorter way. And I have more than enough moves to get back to the start. apologize for all the silence this episode but I'm actually coughing quite a bit so if you hear silence it's probably because I'm coughing okay so now that we turned it we're gonna go back this way gonna go up and don't fall into their trap okay so I have two choices I could go there I could go that way well, no, there's actually no way to get back there through that way. Unless I was supposed to go through the current, go up there, and go there. But if this way fails, then that's the only way left. So that'll be for the next run, if it fails. few moves left we can go left 
and we can come from the right. So this could be no, it was a trap. OK, well, the only answer then is to go current, go back there, up and over in that little area there. OK. spray hasn't really been working in the water. Or maybe it has been working. I just haven't taken many steps because most of the traveling is by waterway. go this way. Okay. Ooh, it looks like it's seven moves just to get up there. I may have to find a way to cut down on the number of moves to get there. Here would be a bait because it would get me trapped, so you have to go around. Okay, our last move. So hopefully, this takes me to where I need to be. No? Okay. I'm fast forwarding this. So we have to go south here.
Oh, you serious? I was so close. It was actually the very last place. And there we go. The red key. All right. Uh, sorry nothing much happened this episode, but next time we're going to go and put this red key to use. There are two red walls in this dungeon itself, so I'll probably start with those and then I'll probably just be cutting around like I did with the yellow key and just open up all the walls as I go through all of the old dungeons again. But that's something we're going to do next time. So until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.